Hey everybody, welcome back. Ignore my really bad looking makeup. I just feel like a get ready with me, which you've probably already seen now. But this lip this lipstick didn't look right, but I'm too lazy to take it off. So it's a thing now. Anywho, so I thought because I didn't do a like what I watched video and I feel like it's a little bit too late now because we're halfway through February. So um I thought I would just talk about a couple of shows, but I'm going to film them all in separate videos. So, I'm going to talk about The Handmaid's Tale. Mm, very good show. I would totally recommend it to anyone. It, it's, it, it's a little bit strange. I'm tidying my makeup away at the same time. <laughs> um, it is a bit of a weird concept. It's, a, it's based on a book of the same name. There's actually two books. I think there's a third one in progress. But it's basically about... Um, a lot of the world becomes infertile um, so a lot of the women can't give birth anymore and those that actually do a lot of the times the survival rate isn't very high um, so they basically um, start this like kind of civil war in America and this like almost religious group cult kind of thing take over and they basically all the fertile women get rounded up and they're given to the rich households of this like colony kind of thing that's taken over the world um not the world america uh, and they basically force the fertile women to have babies for the rich people so it's very weird the ceremonies are really funny to watch um also but it's a it's a very good watch like there are times when you're really frustrated for the characters um, and i've never got so like there's some really tense scenes and I've never got so worried for a character ever watching something before um, and I've watched a lot and you get so frustrated and it's so tense like season two uh, basically the main um, character she's on the run and you're literally waiting for her to get caught because you know she's gonna um, but each episode keeps happening you're like oh she's gonna get caught here someone's gonna come here and you're literally on the edge of your seat and you're like oh my god what's gonna go on um, and you keep going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then all of a sudden, well, I'm not going to say, but um, you were, it is literally on your on the edge of your seat stuff. The third season, um, I would say, is not as intense as the first two. However, you do get quite a bit of resolve uh, throughout the third season. Uh, we are getting a, I think we're getting a fourth and a fifth season, uh, but a lot of it got held up due to COVID. Um, but yeah. Very, very good show, and I would totally recommend it to anyone um, who's old enough. <laughs> Don't show your kids. <laughs> um, but yeah, and you do really feel for the characters, and there's, and not only that, some of the, you don't know who you can trust. I love stuff like that, where you don't know what characters you can trust and you can't trust, um, because then you kind of don't know who's going to help them out, who's not. Um, and you get some really interesting characters. I was quite let down. I can't remember his name now. I watched this. Like, we literally binged this in like two weeks. Um, I can't remember his name. But basically the third season. Um, Offred goes to a new household. Uh, it's the guy there. And I know he, he's won awards for that role. And because I found that out before we kind of met his character. I was like oh he's going to be quite an interesting character. And I was quite disappointed at how. Flat, not flat his character because his character won't flat but I thought there was going to be a lot more to his character but there wasn't I think that was my only like major disappointment from the series but yeah it's a good watch definitely recommend it it's available on Amazon Prime uh, however I do believe that each season goes to channel 4 first so make sure you keep an eye out uh, for any announcements and things like that but I don't think they've finished filming season 4 yet so yeah Hope you enjoyed my little tiny review or description of the show, whatever it is. Um, and yeah, bye.